our hatred for the non-Muslims doesn't stop us from being unjust to them. My argument would be it also doesn't stop us from coexisting with them, living in a society with them. But I can be in a land where I live with, live with these people, but yeah. I have hate for them. I don't like them. I say that is, at, a, at the time that we're living in today, it's very, very hard to claim that. This has been said a million times by people that aren't washed by the system, but I'll say it again. We live in a time where language and certain words are used to demonize and shame people for speaking the truth. You're a xenophobe, you're an Islamophobe, you're a racist, and it's always used hypocritically with no consistency or logic behind it. And look, not assimilating into the culture of the country you reside in is one thing. I live in the States and I know many individuals that have been here their entire lives and have not assimilated. But People like this guy here or his family have left their poor war-torn insert whatever garbage country and were taken in by a western nation that provides for them gives them a life that they would have never had in their home country yet they despise the country and the people they live with why did you or your family not stay in your home country oh because it's a poor war-torn dump with no opportunity for a decent life so you come to the west and not only do you hate the country the people their values but you try and impose the same garbage islamic values that ruined your home nation these aren't some crazed radicals the majority of muslims that are devout to their faith think this way why because islam teaches them to quran 98 6 calls us the worst of all creatures 855 calls unbelievers the most wicked of creatures 4101 calls unbelievers your sworn enemies 4144 speaks on not taking the unbelievers as friends Allah makes it clear in the Quran that he hates unbelievers. You grow up learning that non-Muslims are vile in the eyes of Allah. It's only natural that you grow up thinking of non-Muslims as subhumans. The West needs to stop shooting itself in the foot by trying to be politically correct and inclusive and rid itself of people that follow this vile and backwards ideology.